each step is another prayer. All right? You touch, you make your personal prayer. Boom. Come stand you have a right to an attorney, and in fact, your lawyer, Mr. Aurora, is here with you and representing you. Is that correct? <laughs> I'm going to inform you of certain other rights that you have, Mr. York, and inform you of the fact that if you plead guilty, you give up these rights. You have a right to trial by jury, you're presumed to be innocent. You understand these rights, and understand if you plead guilty, you give up these rights. Did you, in fact, do what the district attorney, Mr. Bright, told me you did? How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? As to all the indictments that were cited by the district attorney. Did anybody force you or threaten you in any way to cause you to enter this guilty plea? Did anyone promise you anything to cause you to enter this guilty plea? Are you satisfied with the services of your attorneys? Not only Let's say he molested a thousand children, factually, okay. genetic evidence and everything, things that we don't deny scientifically. We say, wow, okay, true, 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 true. If someone was to ask me, would, would you still worship him as your most high, acknowledge him as your most high God, I would have to. This is definitely a case that needs to be open, it needs to be open for all the public to see, for all the public to view. All the public to get an understanding so we can get the right knowledge, the right wisdom, and the right understanding of what has happened to our brother, Dr. Malachi Z. Young. If this can happen to him, just imagine what can happen to you. A Fox 5 exclusive, one of hip hop's founding fathers speaking out for the first time on television about shocking child abuse allegations. And the list of accusers is growing, and they all tell similar stories. Have you ever abused any underage boy? I never abused nobody. You know, it, it just sounds crazy to people to say that, here, you abused me. You know, my thing is, you know all my people back then. You know uh, the hundreds of people that have been around me. You know, if something like that happened, why you never want to? None of them. mean to tell the world that none of these children had enough sense in, it, in their mind to go tell their parent that this isn't right. Some, I've been touched sexually, I've been sexually abused. Not one child out of all these children. The interview that he did with that victim of Dr. York, I don't like the way he handled him. I'm speaking on behalf of the, 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 the children or the, or the people that, 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 that had to testify, for me, it felt like it was something that I had to do. Like I told you, my, both of my sisters went, went through the same thing I went through. And both of my older sisters. Do you mind sharing? I don't know nothing. Sharing, okay, well, both of my sisters have been molested. By who? By Malachi Young. And they at was, what ages? At what ages? I mean, you know, if you want to get the accurate number, you can ask them. Around what age? You know, I, I mean, 13, 14, 7, 8. You know, and I will only speak for myself as far as the yeah, personal no thing of that course. I've been through. Of course, you. you know, this, this stuff, like, I was seven years old. From seven to 14, seven years that I went through this. You know what I'm saying? Would you say there's been over 20 children molested by Dr. York? I would say so. It'll be about 15 or 20 people. Obviously, if over 15 to 20 people, children were being molested, we have to now say, how come the adults wasn't saying nothing? Shouldn't they be locked up with Dr. York too? How come they're free to testify about it? You understand the, the, adults, the adults were separated from their children. You know, so you had, you had the girls in one house, the boys in one house, the women in one place, the brothers in one place. You mean to tell the world that none of these children had enough sense in, it, in their mind to go tell their parent? that this isn't right. Some, I've been touched sexually, I've been sexually abused. Not one child out of all these children. It could have stopped so long ago. First you hear nothing from nobody. Yeah. You hear nothing from nobody. Then you hear something from everybody, all, all at the same time. They might not have been the medium to, to talk to anybody about, about the situation. Not even and their what, parents. I mean, that's part, of course. I could have talked to my, I could have told my mother. We chose not to. Whoa, look how he going in on a victim. I couldn't tell my mom. I couldn't tell, I didn't tell nobody. 
why do you think he's locked up for 135 years underground 60 feet in a super super max penitentiary with no one with a case like into his own if he threw everything away by molesting kid did he really care about everybody else people's always going to um, have his word over anybody else's word because that's all they know. You no, know, at the end of the but, day, he's locked up. So obviously, they took y'all word over everyone else's. It doesn't matter. Like I told you, if we say he's innocent, when he's still locked up in prison, y'all word accounted for everything. Why you don't interview me like that? Interview me like that, and I guarantee, that, that, and that. I and I guarantee you, interview me like that, and I guarantee you, you can have twenty year soldiers. It's gonna take that. Because if he would have did that to me, it would have, like, you're not going to do that. You're playing with my pain. You're playing with that man's pain. What, I, I can't go back. You know what I'm saying? I can only face what's in front of me. I know what happened to me. I know what he Why? did. I know what kind of person he is. GBI, Someone yes, like no. him shouldn't be incarcerated if they, if they are uplifting the community and doing what he did. But if you're going to do that and on top of that, still do the wrong thing for years and years and years, then you definitely shouldn't be out on the streets. My, my whole argument in this whole situation is should people be locked up based on what people believe? I got the right to be angry. You know why? Because yeah. the law promises me something different. The law promises me that we will lock people up beyond a shadow of a doubt. That's what the law promises me. Yeah. But in this case, it was up to 12 people to have that reasonable doubt or not. And those 12 people made the no, decision. No, it's not, not. So what's the point? If you want to fight it's, for it, fight for it for another reason. Don't fight for it because he's innocent of a molesting kid. 